That game with Knowles and St. John's going to play against Rogers, and there is Knowles. He's a playmaker for football, also for basketball, and he makes the play for Jeff Copeland for two points underneath, 57-41. Titans on top for Rogers. Nice play by J.R. Radford, the hustle play. The offensive board puts it back in for two. St. John's, though, too many good players. Mark Loving, future Buckeye for two, 76-53. They just slammed Rogers down tonight. Final score, 100 to 83. We expect a lot because I think there's a lot given to them. So uh, we got a lot of different weapons. I don't know how Nick, I mean, Nick had a night, but he had a great shooting night. And, um, you know, Mark and Sheen and the whole bunch, they, they played pretty well in the offensive end. The defensive end, we didn't go out and dribble real well, but I think Rodgers is, I think, is the most athletic team in town. Over at Star, it's the first game of the year for Tony Mays, and it's against his former teammates at Central. Irish are up 17 in the first half, but it's Mays leading a comeback. And then from Mays, we go to Mo, as in Mo Taylor from the outside, and the Spartans are within six points. Moments later, Mays, the tip, and it's a four-point game. But in the fourth quarter, now Central have been shut out as far as field goals go in the third quarter, but fourth quarter, they came alive. Ben Dent with the hoop. And that jumps out of the Irish to a 60-47 to win over their former teammate, Mays. It's been, a, you know, having the pleasure to come back and just, you know, I have fun right there, you know. Lose or not, man, just enjoy playing. A real close relationship with Tony, and, you know, he's just a spectacular kid in my eyes. And, and you know, it, it's hard for both, both Start and for us. And, you know, Tony, Tony will be fine. Over at Way, Indians and Knights stooping it out. Check out this third quarter sequence. Jameson Shealy, nice offensive board, but even nicer block by Harry Newsom. Best part is, Wake gets it. They run it down the floor. Dominic Roundtree finds Tim Moorhead wide open for three. He'll take that and make that. 25-12 for Wake. More of Moorhead three minutes later. Look at this teamwork. Makes it a 16-point game. Wake wins it 50-35. to Meanwhile, Bowser playing clay, everybody thinking pink for a great cause to fight cancer. Early on, Ross Ochter, check this out. Judging by the look on his face, he probably did not call bank. Clay led 10-4 at one point, but then Milan Mabry jacks it up from the outside and buries it. And then one of Bowser's other studs, Robert Davis, one of the McDonald's All-American nominees, he goes for two, and Bowser was just too much. Final score, 94-79. More City League, Scott and Woodward, Polar Bears, the home of the best mascot of all time. Yes, I love that guy. First quarter, Scott leading 4-2. Delano McCabe to Drano's that for three. Next possession for the Polar Bears. Giante Smith from the corner, also for three, and he's pretty happy about it. Woodward up 8-4. Jerome Pecco in the house. Washington, he's the TPS superintendent, of course. Scott, Jordan Holmes, he was the man. Eight of the first, 10 points for the Bulldogs, and Scott goes on to win the ball game, 58 to 46. Well, turning to the Northern Lakes League, we're checking out Rossford and Bowling Green. Vito Brown inside with the baby hook. That's some pretty cute stuff. This was a huge night overall for Chauncey Orr, a milestone night. Not only did he get that offensive rebound, but he also scored 19 points and became Bowling Green's all-time leading scorer. Good for him. And Bowling Green got the win over Rossford, 85 to 44. At Southview, Cougars playing Perrysburg, and fans obviously watching Fox Toledo on their mobile phones were everywhere. Cutting inside, the nice bucket for Perrysburg. This was a close game going back and forth and back and forth. Southview would have plenty of answers, though. Joe Vermillier from the outside, then it's Brandon Sinran. It's his turn to make the shot the final minute, though. Perrysburg coming through clutch. It's Jay Flagar who makes that. Perrysburg wins a nail-biter, 53-51. Our Mercy Big Game countdown clock says there are just under nine days before the Super Bowl. Steelers and Packers on Fox Alito next Sunday. But for now, that's your Hardcore Sports. We'll be right back.